Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey friends, I'm Caleb and I'm excited to share this with you. It's my Bible, which is an absolutely incredible gift. God inspired dozens of faithful followers over hundreds of years to record these words, both for people then and for us today. In the Bible, you'll find history, uh, wisdom, poetry, songs, letters, and so much more. All of it speaks of God's deep, deep love for us and leads to Jesus, who came to heal our brokenness and restore us to relationship with God. It's the most amazing display of generosity ever. And I've got four stories that can show us what it looks like. We're gonna get started in the book of James. <laughs> and the James who wrote this letter is believed to be Jesus's brother. As a leader of the early church, he wanted to encourage the scattered Jewish believers. And he tells them, every good and perfect gift is from God. The sunshine outside, that great orange you had at lunch, every breath you take, all of it, every single good thing in your life comes special delivery straight from God. Now we hop back to the Old Testament and the book of First Kings. Here, famine has gripped the land of Israel and the prophet Elijah has nothing to eat. So God sends him to a poor widow who has little food left herself. When Elijah asks for lunch, she could just send him on his way. Instead, she sets the table. That's when God rolls out the unlimited breadsticks special. Time to head back to the New Testament and the book of 2 Corinthians. Go. In this letter to the believers in Corinth, Paul reminds them of this important truth. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. God loves a cheerful giver. Generosity isn't just about what you give. It's about how you do it. Time to wrap up now in the book of 1 John. Here, Jesus' friend John clues us in to the true reason we can give. We know what love is because Jesus Christ gave his life for us. So we should give our lives for our brothers and sisters. Don't just talk about love, put your love into action. Jesus gave up his life for us. He made a way for us to be restored to relationship with God. It's the ultimate gift and the reason that we can freely give God's love to those around us. That's what true generosity looks like. And I can't wait to see how it shows up in you and me.